Hello, World of Tank Blitzers. It's Littlefinger. It's January 27th. It's Friday. It's time for another store review. We're at the end of the month, so I'm not going to talk about the Battle Pass. We've got just under two days left for the Chinese New Year's events. Basically, win and get stuff for free. Can't beat it. Hopefully, you've got enough battles under your belt to, to get all of those items. I've got the M4Y pulled up here because it was an interesting, I didn't show it on screen, but uh, a new way for Blitz to get you to try to gamble on, on getting tanks. About the tank itself, four shell reloader with seven seconds between shots and a 13 second magazine reload. It's kind of strange. You lose the benefit, really, in my opinion, of that fast firing auto loader. So uh, it's, it's a little bit different play style to say the least we do have one offer that is very very solid it is this subscription to resources you see you're going to get three thousand gold fifty thousand free xp and 35x boosters for four dollars the way this works is you have to log in every day i have to stress that you have to log in every day to compl to claim that daily resource. And this is what you get per day. So obviously if you miss a day, you know that amount of gold goes down by that amount. So 3,000 gold, $4. If you claim all of it, that works out to be 700 gold per dollar plus that 50,000 XP and your 5X boosters as well. And what I do like about this is you're not piling up a huge number of 5x boosters that you either use or lose on uh, if you were to play a premium or collector tank. Fairly easy to claim this and then go play three tanks that you're grinding in the tech tree and, and then you can play what you want after that. So I love this uh, great value here. Here is what I was talking about, about the new way of gambling here. They're calling it a resource a resource draw. Uh, essentially, each one of these items in this box can be chosen at random here. If you click on the information, you can see the percentage chance that each of those items will drop for that gold price. Every time that you purchase it, the gold price increases and these percentages change. With the... Uh, with the tank that I showed you before, I basically had to go through every single one of them in order to get it, and it was like 18,000 gold or something. So pretty high price for a tier eight. Uh, so unless there's something on here that you really, really want and the percentage is high, I don't recommend this gambling method. However, if you're playing on mobile, 10 gold, watch a video, see what happens you know uh so you can what i like is it starts off with a very low amount so maybe you get lucky now uh, we'll talk about the tanks in the tank section um and uh, let's see what else we've got here we should be able to talk about all of these when we get down to the tanks nothing else really worth talking about so there is your Northern Raiders bundle here, 15,000 gold, two tier eight premiums. The Emil 1951. What you're getting in this tank is a fairly mobile heavy tank with not nearly as much armor as the Tech Tree Emil. It's got that nice uh, auto loader here, so three shells. Three seconds, you can get all three shells out in six seconds, and then you find cover and, and reload. But I just do have to warn, don't expect the armor to be anything like the Tech Tree Emil. And then the Lanson C, we've seen this tank for sale frequently recently, fairly new. It's a nice mobile medium tank, and what I like about it is the gun sits kind of in that mid-range. It's not near as much damage per shot. Uh, average damage 320. So it's not going to be like your chimeras 
where you're over 400 average damage. But then again, it's not like some of the other medium tanks where you're at 200 per shot. So it fits nicely in that mid range as far as damage and reload time. Damage per minute, 2073. It's got nice pen. Like I said, decent mobility. Uh, the turret here is going to bounce a few shots with its nice angles. Um, but really what you're, you're buying is the mobility and the gun on the tank. Interesting um, bundle all together. You're going to get both of those premium camos. The 5X booster specifically for the tanks and all nine equipment slots unlocked. Uh, 15,000 gold though. That To me, that is still a little bit on the high side for both of these tanks. As you can see, selling them individually for 8,500 without all of the uh, equipment upgrades. But two reasonable tanks, not great tanks for their category, but fun tanks nonetheless. We get to the WZ-112. We talked about this last week. There's only three days left on it. As I mentioned before, what I do like about this tank and in the realm of heavy tanks that we've seen quite a few of at tier eight, you don't have that pike nose, which becomes extremely difficult to make sure you're getting your angles right. Uh, this tank here, I feel like is, is much more of a frontline heavy tank, can side scrape pretty well. And you're gonna get more ricochets, I think, with this tank than than uh, some of the other IS-3s uh, tanks of that um, stature. So 7,500, you know, it's okay. Um, you may be able to wait and get it for a little bit cheaper later, um, but this is about the typical price point that we see for the tier eight heavy. SU-100Y does have the attachment and 14 days of premium time, 5X just for the tank. 2,000 gold, just keep in mind the size of this tank. There are other ways to get this tank for free, so it's hard to recommend spending a lot of gold on it. But one of the things you will learn quickly in this tank is, is really how to hide it. Uh, it's because it's so big, there are very few spots on the map where you can effectively go to and hide this tank. And one of the unique features is you've got very good premium AP penetration, which does more damage than the, than the regular shell does. So you're going to want to shoot premium where possible in order to maximize your damage per shot. And oh, the smashing platoon. This thing just drives me crazy. Tired of seeing this. Said it so many times now. Two tanks, exactly the same, both tier eight heavy tanks, rear mounted turrets, the Chrysler K, so much better than the IS-2SH. And it's a shame that they are bundled together and that you can't get a better deal here on the Chrysler K because this is the one that you wanna own. I do like the fact that it is a different play style than many of the other heavy tanks. Uh, it just gives you something different to think about when you're playing the game. However, it's hard to recommend the price on both of those tanks. The other new um, bundle here, we've got a pair of tier seven tanks, the ISU-122S. Got decent mobility for a tank destroyer. And I do like the way the gun handles on this tank. Look at this, 3,000 damage per minute. We just saw the tier eight Lanson at 2,000. So the gun is can put out some good numbers on it. 0.32 is not horrible for a, a, a TD, but keep in mind, this is tier seven. And then the T4485 is your typical medium tank driving experience. All around decent tank. You can get some nice angles and get some ricochets off of this tank. But to me, this is classic medium gameplay all the way around. 2379 average, uh, your damage per minute. Pen numbers are okay. 200 average damage for a tier seven tank. 
7,000 gold means each one of these is 3,500. Not really bad price-wise, but again, tier seven, how often are you gonna be pulling them out? You know, how many times do you wanna be that lower tier tank with all of the tier eight tanks that are out there? Tank that I do like, the T25. Uh, the tank has quite an accurate gun well, it says 0.34, but I feel like the, the gun accuracy on this, you know, with a German tank, you typically get some nice accuracy. This is a tier five tank, so it's really hard to, to recommend, but the price for 14 days of premium time and the 5X boosters applies to all tanks. So let's see what you can sell this for. It's only for silver for 500,000. So, um, you know, it's a good all-around tank, however, it's tier five. How often are you gonna be playing this? Probably not a lot. Don't think the 5X boosters by themselves are worth the, the 1500. So just keep all of that in mind if you're considering the tank there. Nimble Platoon, five days left. Typically, we see these uh, with the benefit of uh, basically selling them 1500 gold for $3, 500 gold per dollar. Not really one of the best deals around pair of tier two tanks. Uh, certainly, I don't know if that was, would recommend that at all. So really would like to see some new tanks in the store coming up soon. And I hope you guys are having fun out there. And um, just want to reiterate the fact that, you know, I like to play Blitz to get away from real life. Sometimes you can't always do that. So I apologize. Would have liked to get some more videos out, but... Uh, you know, get some issues going on at home, um, both from a health related and a neighbor being Karen's on us. So uh, we are dealing with that at the moment, but um, we'll get through it and we'll get some more videos out there. And of course, guys, just stay safe out there and have fun. Little finger out.